Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Now it seems a good few of us have access to the Flight Sim 2024 Alpha. It is only available for PC, the Alpha, but it seems quite a few of us in our Discord got accepted to this which is fantastic. In this video I'm going to give you my first impressions essentially of Flight Sim 2024. I've now got to play it and test it. It is a limited alpha. The activities are not available. Marketplace is not available. You only get a few aircraft to try out in this alpha version. But it lets you set your controls up and graphic settings. So I'll be giving you a first impressions of that. Or at least my first impressions. So I'll tell you what, let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so just to go over what I mentioned in the intro there, you don't get everything in this alpha. It's not going to give you the whole sim. It tells you there, the technical alpha has been designed to gather feedback on specific areas and features, and the scope of what is available is limited. What content will be available? Free flight, a limited amount of career challenges and discovery will be accessible during the technical alpha the marketplace training and other modes will not be accessible in addition aircraft are limited and they are you only get a few aircraft but we can't complain and there you go click that and you're into the main menu of the sim let's continue so shall, shall we start discovering what's available like it says, you've got the world photographer there. It only gives you one option there, America's National Parks, but it looks good, doesn't it? Click on that and you can do a various different things. Sunrise on the Grand Car uh, Canyon. Caravan, I was about to say. <laughs> Grand Caravan. Grand Canyon. There you go. You can read that for yourself. Since the music since I've restarted this just turned itself off. It is an alpha, it's not the full thing. Uh, I'm not too worried about the music. The music actually sounds quite nice though, I've got to say. Postpart from Grand Teton. Interesting. So you can click on any of them and then go for a fly. Go back to the main menu. W uh, career. Let's just take a quick look at this, shall we? I know a lot of you are interested in career. Choose any location in the world where you want to start your career. My goodness. It's got to be. Where is it? Why can't I find it? Can we not choose Hudson International? Where is it, people? Goodness me, I'm losing, I'm getting all, maybe you can't choose. Interesting. Well, in that case, let's go for Biggin Hill, shall we? They're not allowing us to choose sort of anything like Heathrow or Hudson International. Maybe I'm just overlooking something there. Remember, this is not the full sim. So what you're seeing here will not be reflected. It is important to keep mentioning that. People will be saying, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, it's only the alpha, my friends. Choose there, big in the hill. What's it doing now? <laughs> I see a circle go around, so it's rendering something in. My internet's nice and fast at the moment. There's no issues with that. Oh, there we go. Choose airport. What I just did. Oh, choose airport, because I've just chosen that, yeah. So select airport, essentially. We'll go here. I'm just interested, this is my first look into the career. I'll show you my graphics in a moment. Graphics seems to be holding up on high end. It's selected it by default. 
I've got frame gen on and all that good stuff. Link to my PC, my recent PC purchase down below. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you got the sign. <laughs> That's quite nice, isn't it? Big in the hill. Then it loads in again. Again, this is the alpha. This may be quicker when it comes to the full version. Like I said, my internet, so I'm getting something like 300 megabits per second download. Upload is not great, but, you know, if my download's good, I'm not going to complain. Uh, it was a 9 gigabyte file. Anyway, let's get on to this first. Hello there. You, you must be Hudson, Hudson number, number 2074, 2074 right? <laughs> Got to change that call sign. <laughs> yep. Welcome to EGKB. I'm Scott, the owner of this Aero Club. Hey. Here at the club, we provide all the training lessons you need to get started and earn Ooh, your private pilot handy. license. I need to get my Hudson livery in here if I can, then, don't I? Once you've earned your PPL, you can build up your flight hours and get more experience by taking people out on the first flight. Okay, but good before to any of that, Let's head outside and take a flight to get familiar with our air. Okay. So it'll give you an idea of what the career mode is about. Let's just continue because I know a few of you are interested in the career mode does look quite good gives you a kind of game now in the sim or t I want to say it makes it gamified people may argue with that Welcome to the apron this is where all our flying adventures begin why don't you walk around a bit while I finish the pre-flight preparations okay okay so yes what's that saying so ASD uh, yeah look around would that be today we'll be flying in a Cessna 172 Skyhawk it's the main trainer airplane in our flight school our Cessna's got a glass cockpit and a 180 horsepower engine. Climbs well and is easy to fly. It's okay. a sweet ride. I'm ready if you are, so hop in and buckle up. Let the good times roll. I can't seem to rotate my view. Ah, you can with the mouse. That's better. Yeah, just use your mouse. <laughs> okay, I'm just moving my mouse to look left and right. I'll tilt my view. Can I not press any of these services yet? It's not allowing us to yeah, okay, control C to and shift and C. Welcome aboard. While you settle in, let's go over our flight plan. I've got a few controls set up After so far. Off, we will climb not to many. Feet above sea level, and then fly over the airport to enjoy oh the view. Two bar at the top there Why just to the show you. Us? Interesting. Control E, oh that's what I normally do. <laughs> Look at the new Cessna. Oh, is that a tablet? Perfect. The wind is from 270 degrees direction. Nice. With a speed of nine knots. So we'll be taking off from runway 21. Ah. Okay. Let me taxi to the runway. I've not got a controls for reset. Okay, who's taxiing? Well, this is interesting. This gives you an idea. This is nice, people. And I've got to say, I am noticing improvements with the graphics somewhat. Okay. So I'll go between... Well, I've got a... Okay. All right, now it seems... In this... The brakes and applying full power, we will speed up and take off once we reach 60 knots airspeed. This is interesting because it seems in this alpha... Oh, shut up. Knots, which is the recommended climbing speed for the Cessna Skyhawk. How did I get back into my cockpit? We will huh? follow a right-hand traffic pattern and make two turns. I'll tell you what I'm going to do there, people. I'm just going to set up a few settings, because it seems each time I've gone into photographer mode just to test it free flight, and every time I'm having to set up my controls. Again, this is the alpha, so it may just be a thing with the alpha. Hopefully. Primary flight controls. No, I've got them set up. That's good. Uh, go back. You can see this new interface here for setting up controls. So you'll click on each one. Uh, I want to get to my... Oh, cockpit menu camera, thank you. And camera mode switches. Okay, I'm going to set this back up on my alpha control again. Just bear with me. There we go, three. Just to be sure. Uh, go back. Do I have... Let me just make sure, because this is something that you've probably come across. This is just to do with the Alpha, I believe. Flight control services, power management. Let me just check. I've got my throttle set up. Throttle access, I do indeed. I'm going to set up my brakes, in fact. 
So go over here. Where's the brakes? Brakes, 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 brakes. Let's just take a look. Power management, brakes. Uh, parking brake, set parking brake. I've got a button I want to set up for that. You know what, that will do. And I hope my rudders are set up. Flight control services. They are rudder access. So that's all good. Let's resume. Sorry about that. Now I can press that button to get into... Can I press enter there? Thank you. Not got a button to reset my camera view, but I'm not going to worry about that. Well, I can press the button to release the parking brake. Good. Ready for takeoff? Apply full power to get us moving. Okie dokie. Rudder control. I've noticed the aircraft do handle very differently now. <laughs> Maybe in a good way. I got, I got my full throttle. There we are. I have now. You handle the yoke, and I'll take care of the pedals. Steering the aircraft on the okay. runway Okay, he's got the pedals. Wait for takeoff speed. Knots. Pull the yoke a little bit to lift off. There we go. And we're off. Now, thought I turned off those waypoints. Oh no, this is a waypoint for the mission. That's fine. Attitude and speed. I see you know what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Are you getting an idea of, of the missions? I don't want to do spoil all of this for you. Maybe we'll just do a little bit more. Controller setups, I will set up. We are approaching our first turn. As you'll see, the Cessna 172 requires very little yoke movement to turn. Now, have I got to turn here? We are 300 feet above the ground. I will retract the flaps. You can start turning right. Okie dokie. Well, that was a good guess. Notice the reflections seem to be improved. I'll show you the graphic settings in a moment. That might be... Is that a bit of ray tracing going on? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if that's enabled for the Alpha. Keep climbing and Frames the are holding, turn. which is great. Now, have I got to go... Okay, turn right again. We're almost there. Okay, Remember, okay. we need to climb to 2,100 feet. It will keep us 500 feet okay. above the traffic pattern. Good, okay, still wants me to keep turning, that's fine. Yeah, I've got to have it. Quite straightforward, the first few missions I would expect. This may be something. Are yep, they are beautiful, yeah. Uh, this may be something I'll get into the missions. I wasn't expecting to be... Uh, to enjoy them, shall we say. But from what I've seen, I do like all that sort of... Uh, Game Fantastic. elements to it. Look around, see our airport. Let's fly over it. Oh, there's the airport. Okay. I've not got buttons set up to rotate my camera with my hat switches. Don't worry, control settings will be coming up soon, people. While I've got access, I'll set up one or two controls for this. Just to give us all a head start before Flight Sim 2024 releases properly. Uh Kidoki. Yeah, uh, pulse below us. Great. Let's just get back in the cockpit. 2,100. I've got over that. Well done. I believe you have a talent for piloting. Oh. I hope you enjoy the flight. Let's head back to the ground now. Okay, okay. Have I got to do this? Oh, mission success. So you get an idea, people. Okay, the aircraft's gonna fly on. <coughs> it's quite nice, isn't it? And you can continue that. I'll probably do a couple just to see what those missions are like. I'm glad that we flew together today. Uh, let's this just might get be the past first chapter this part. in the pilot's journey, if you want to embark on it. Let's catch up at our headquarters. Okay, okay. You seem comfortable out there. I'm sure you'll get your PPL in no time. Oh, thank you. There's a laptop in the office showing all the certification information you need for your PPL. Take a look. Okay, okay. And then you go on the laptop and you can do all should we just click on it just in case people are interested? All the license certifications you can pass throughout your career. Your first step is to work towards your private pilot license. That would be a good idea for me, wouldn't it? And there we go, private pilot's license. Click on All that. All the training lessons you will need to pass the PPL exam are available here. Oh, so you get 40,000 sure credits. Before taking the exam. And you get 10 for passing. That's good. So you get credits for passing. And then you can go on. You can go on. I won't do the whole lot, people. Back to main menu. What I'll do, I'll continue now exploring this wonderful sim. 
Okay, shall we do a bit of free flight now? Let's see what Flight Sim has to offer. We'll go to free flight. As you'll see, when you're navigating now this world map, it all seems very smooth, a lot smoother than Flight Sim 2020. And that's what they were aiming for, and it seems to have worked even in this alpha. I did try a flight over London. It's not very well rendered at the moment, the London area. Remember, they're only giving you limited access to limited areas. But I believe Paris looks a little bit better. We'll zoom in there, as you can see. You can hover over each of the gates. And the airport itself looks quite nice, doesn't it? Who are all these folks? Have I got AI traffic on? Maybe it doesn't matter for this. Frame seems to be holding up regardless. Setter's departure. And we'll fly over to Ole. Setter's departure there. Where's Ole? There you go. Setter's arrival. And we'll set some of the waypoints of Paris or landmarks of Paris. That will do. And we'll go fly. Simple as that. Now, just before I do that, I can click on the aircraft. It's on, these are the three aircraft that it's offering you in this alpha, letting you try. Click on helicopter. There's nothing there. Gliders. Shame we can't get the light balloon, obviously. Marketplace is not showing up. So, we'll just stick with our trusty Cessna 172. And I'll keep this in real time. You can possibly see a little circle at the bottom of the screen now. What's happened to my mouse? Never mind. There you go. That's the way it loads in. Isn't that nice? So you'll see what we're experiencing. Okay. Remember, it's the, the alpha, not the full version. Ready for takeoff departure to the south. Thank you. Now I've set up a few controls including the hat switch. Like I said I'll do videos on setting up while I've got access to this a couple of controllers. Let's take advantage. Runway markings look quite nice don't they? Are my rudder pedals set up? Let me just make sure. Yep they are. They're all working fine. Let me just adjust my seat. What we'll do is set an autopilot. My multi panel's not working at the moment with this alpha. Oh let's just put that CDI on GPS uh, Autopilot Altitude, press my B key to make sure everything's fine It is Just going to bring the flaps up I don't need them And I believe we're all set up there So let's throttle up release the parking brake as long as that button's working you can see my frames in the top left there I'll show you what graphic settings it defaulted me to did I just get a bit of stutter there that's got to be expected I expect there's well, quite a bit of talk I'm having to do quite a bit of left rudder there a little bit trickier now to take off and handle the aircraft so I've noticed that as well I got my trim not sure I've got trim set up even. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter for this flight. Because what I'm going to do, I'm just going to test the autopilot functionality. Navigation mode. And is that going to... I might have to go into heading mode, people. Because, as you can see... Now. Just do it by this. Oh, it doesn't matter about those notifications. You can turn them off in the alpha as well. I've just not... Just put it around there. Get off. Heading mode. Vertical speed. Let me just try. I know flight level change, but we can do vertical speed for the moment. Make sure, make sure we're not climbing at too high a rate. It's locked onto GPS. That's what I wanted. Very smooth. You can see the graphics are holding up over 80. Now, it's not the full version of the sim, but I believe a lot of this area is rendered in. You'll notice the trees there. You can see seasonal trees effects from the start, which is nice. So this is just default sim at the moment. I don't know, that all looks pretty grand. What do you think?
just while I'm flying to my area, I'll go up to the settings cog up here and show you my graphical settings. So full screen, high end, it defaulted me to high end. I do have frame gen on somewhere. Oh yeah, frame generation on and super resolution. I can mess around with these uh, at a later date. Just show you everything's on high. And that's what it defaulted. Well, it put the glass cockpit refresh rate to medium. But the rest is high, as you can see. All very nice. And that's the result. I've got to turn those notifications off. They do start to bother me now. Oh, that's a cold pilot. I guess the cockpit, remember this is the default Cessna 172, the cockpit looks similar to Flight Sim 2020. Not a bad thing, I never thought it looked too bad. Let's just zoom out a little bit there. And there we go, we'll take a look at the graphics outside. Oh, this is just default photogrammetry at the moment within the sim within the limited aspects of the sim what it offers up so far so it's just to give you an idea nice I did see a couple of aircraft I'm not sure if they're AI aircraft if it is and I'm getting frames like that with AI aircraft in I'm not gonna complain you know it's not massive it's only 1080p but that's high end and I've not really messed around with anything else is there any ray tracing going on? Possibly. I don't know if that's in the alpha yet. Oh, it looks quite nice. What's that going on underneath me there? There's a tent there. <laughs> the trees look great now, I've got to say. Just to get seasonal trees without any additional add-ons in the background. Can we see any landmarks of Paris? Are they in the sim yet? Are they in the alpha? I would have hoped so, but I don't know. We'll fly a little bit towards that. I'm just going to take autopilot off to get myself familiar with the way this aircraft... Now I've got... Uh, what do you call that? Camera shake on. And all the effects of the aircraft there, as you can see. I may turn them down a bit once I figure that out. Really is pretty much my first impressions along with you people. Yeah, I don't see many landmarks ahead, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, tell you what, let's just turn the autopilot back on. It's in the GPS mode. Range of the map with that, yep, allows us to do that. I've not set my settings up for my camera views, cockpit views yet. But I think we're coming somewhere towards... Well, I guess there's a there's a few yeah there's the Eiffel Tower isn't it there's a few landmarks going on here or there again it's not giving us the full version but performance wise on my PC my 4060 PC so it's not high end it's pretty much sort of mid high end I'm getting good results. Now the photogrammetry updated around me. Again, not the full version of what we'll be getting, but what I'm seeing so far is pleasing, I've got to say. Oh, don't know what's going on there. Again, an artifact of this being alpha. Can we see any of the landmarks? That's what I'm interested in seeing, just to see if any of them are in. Um, yeah, that is the Eiffel Tower, isn't it? So that's in. So if that's the Eiffel Tower, we can go into heading mode. Oh, I missed my mods panel. Oops, what am I doing? <sighs> Shows you how used I'm not used to using the controls in the cockpit. So just come this way a little bit. Heading select. What do you think? 
I think that looks quite nice just for an alpha and default. I expect this to be much prettier in the final version. A little bit prettier, actually looks quite pretty to me at the moment. There's the Eiffel Tower coming up, let's take a quick look at that I believe it is. It's got to be, hasn't it? Ah. Default clouds, is that live weather? How can I check that? Uh, just bear with me a second. I'm not sure. It gives you... See, if you press escape there, pause the flight, it gives you the remaining mileage, time, and goodness knows what. Uh, oh, you can open your EFB there. That's interesting. I've not investigated that part yet. That may come in future videos. If you go to Freecam, by the way, you can actually look around the area. Maybe that's a good way. What's all that showing in the back? I know it's that blue. Oh, remember, people, it's Alpha. Keep in mind, it's Alpha. So is that the range that we're allowed to go to in Freecam, I wonder? Uh, can I move that a little bit quicker? I don't seem to be able to. Come down a bit. Get a closer look at these trees, shall we? I, I am quite impressed with the way the trees are showing now. And the seasonal seasonal aspects of them. And there you go. And away, there we go. If you click on that... Oh, what's going on there? What have I gone to there? Have I just broken the sim? Where is it going now? Is it going back to my aircraft? Isn't that neat? <laughs> I like that. Very nice. Some nice changes put in there. And it feels very smooth, etc. Just let's get to the landmarks just to see if any of these are rendered in. And then I'll take you to the conclusion. My first spot. This is all very nice, isn't it? I believe the areas like the photogrammetry missions, the Grand Canyon, and things like that, will show you some of the true beauty. Shall we do that as last, in fact, as my conclusion? Go to the Grand Canyon. So, you know, it seems to be a, some work, you know, this is just sort of default photogrammetry buildings by the looks of things. But it's only giving us, it's not giving us full access, so they may have all this built in already. They're only giving us limited access in the sim. So let's just get in the cockpit. In fact, let's just show you some of the control settings. Just while I'm here. So if I go to my Veloc uh, Alpha Flight Controls, I'm using the XPC. I can go down here to Categories and go to things like Camera. Cockpit Camera, so I want Previous and Next Camera Precision. Does it? Where are they again? Oh, next pilot position. So just move my hat switch left. Reset cockpit view. I want a button for that. Thank you. Previous pilot position. Actually, I want that. Previous. That's right. Oh, actually, let me just think about that. Previous pilot position. And next pilot position. Let's just remind myself, I've got to remind myself what my settings were now. That's right. And reset cockpit view. So, I've got to play around with those controls, but so I'm not going to spend hours with you now doing that. So we'll get towards the Eiffel Tower, just to see what that looks like bring back my throttles slightly there. Uh, heading mode, let's just move it a bit towards the Eiffel Tower there. That's better. Yeah, I've got turbulence turned on, and goodness knows what. And camera shake. And all the effects, you can turn them off if you don't like them. 
Yeah, those are definitely default buildings, aren't they? But, you know, it is alpha. It's what we've got to expect. This is not the final version, people. Keep saying it, just in case people are saying this looks terrible compared to Flight Sim 2020. We don't know yet. They're not giving us access to the full thing. There you go. You can see the Eiffel Tower in the distance, so... Uh, is that the Eiffel Tower? It's not the Eiffel Tower, is it? <laughs> I bet people were saying that's not the Eiffel Tower, you dummy. Or is it? Is it? Is that just the way it looks in this version? No, it can't be, can it? I don't know, people. Oh, I wish I had my motor panel to mess around with my heading mode externally there. I can set up controls for that, of course. I will be doing. While well, I've got access to it. Oh, it is the Eiffel Tower. It just looks a bit odd, doesn't it? What's that? Okay, this is definitely not the finished version. And that gives you kind of proof that's not the way the Eiffel Tower looks. So they, you know, they're just giving us limited look. You've got all these bolts along here. Obviously, it's not the finished product. Okay, people, let me take you now to my conclusion of my first impressions. Okay, you join me in the cup for my conclusion. It's part of the photography missions. Uh, I'm not sure what the mission is, but I'm just flying around the Grand Canyon. I mean, look at that detail on this if you look around the shadowing and the effects and the textures it's much much better than what we have in flight sim 2020 something to keep in mind it was a nine gigabyte download for the alpha or just over or oh, that's what it was for me so we're not getting all the features when i was flying over paris earlier it's not giving us the full picture of paris but what was there by default already looked impressive and uh, promising. And maybe that's the main takeaway. When we're flying over the Grand Canyon, this is one of the areas they fully rendered in. Or it'd be nearly fully rendered in anyway. And as you can see, what's going on there? Yeah, it just feels a lot better than what we have in Flight Sim 2020. When this Alpha goes away, I'm going to sorely miss it. And look at that! Incredible people! Just flying manually there. Oh yeah, from what I've seen so far, I'm impressed. Graphically, I've not messed around, it's just gone to the default high end. And, you know, that's that's the result from my pretty m uh, medium spec PC. It, right, you could say medium high end, I guess, with the 4060 and 32 gigabytes of RAM. But nothing special with my PC. Again, that video link down below, just in case you're curious. It's looking promising, people. I've had a couple of crashes. I've been flying for the past few hours. I've only had two crashes. I've been pushing it hard, so I've been going back to menus, going on different... Uh, the different options that this alpha allows. Look at that. And I've only had two crashes. I believe Tony Dark Zero in our Discord has had a few crashes. I'll log them. You've got to expect that from a, an alpha. It's not the full version. I was flying over areas perhaps I shouldn't be flying over. <laughs> and testing options that I perhaps shouldn't be testing. Well, it's an alpha. The idea is to test areas and options. But yeah, you know. Aside from that, the performance has been excellent. Well, listen, I'm going to leave it there. I'm impressed so far. What do you think? Have you got access to the alpha? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. It's not the full version. I've got to repeat that. But what's here is impressive. Do let me know your thoughts on this video. Give it a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Listen, I'll be doing more videos on this alpha. Don't miss them. And I'll see you. Look at that. I'll see you soon.